Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Have you ever thought about where you would be if the Lord took away his hand of protection for just one day? I think of how close I came the other day to having a car wreck when someone pulled out in front of me, or that branch that fell out of the tree in a storm just after I drove under it, or that check that showed up in the mail just in time, or that job I wanted but didn't get. Each time, God was protecting me, and many other times that I didn't even know about, I'm sure. I know you have many stories that you could tell about God's protection, too. Back in Acts 23, Paul had been arrested by the Jews, and then God used Roman soldiers to rescue him when his own people wanted to literally tear him limb from limb. That night, the Lord appeared to Paul and said, Be encouraged, Paul, just as you have been a witness to me here in Jerusalem. You must preach the good news in Rome as well. So the next day, off he sailed to Rome. Well, no. Actually, he was in jail in Caesarea for two years. During this time, he got to witness to Governor Felix and his wife Drusilla, Governor Festus, who replaced Felix, and King Agrippa and his sister Bernice, not to mention all of his prison guards and fellow prisoners. During one of his opportunities to speak before Festus and Agrippa, he shared his testimony of how he'd met the Lord on the road to Damascus and how he was called to take the gospel to the Gentiles. Then he said, Some Jews arrested me in the temple for preaching this, and they tried to kill me. But God has protected me right up to this present time, so I can testify to everyone from the least to the greatest. I teach nothing except what the prophets and Moses said would happen, that the Messiah should suffer and be the first to rise from the dead, and in this way announce God's light to the Gentiles and Jews alike. He didn't mention the Roman guards who had protected him from the mob who had wanted to tear him apart, or his nephew who had discovered the plot to ambush him and kill him when the soldiers transported him to Caesarea. He knew who had really protected him because the same one had protected him over and over again as he traveled. He'd been beaten and jailed and even stoned. Other mobs wanted him dead too, but God had not allowed them to kill him. This was why he could sing while in that Philippian jail, why he wanted to talk to the mob and tell them about Jesus, why he took the opportunity to tell these rulers the gospel message, because he knew God, the one he served was protecting him, and he had the promise that he would get to Rome. He wasn't afraid of these men, or of the shipwreck later, or of the poisonous snake that bit him, or anything else. He knew he was safe, and God had a plan. We know that too, and we know that any hardship or trial that we have to go through, he has a plan for that too. Like in Paul's life, God doesn't always protect us from things but he protects us through things. He walks right beside us. That's our but God. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.